Hi people, um, we're going over my notes for um, life science and molecular and cell biology. Well, there's molecular stuff in here. Um, we were finishing up the section about cell cytoskeletons and how um, cells interact, etc. The last part of this section is, talk is a note about centrioles. Um, Ruben, say hi and... Hello. Come and um, help us read. Centrioles are what? Uh, it's a minute. Minute or very small. It's a minute. This minute. is minute. It's also pronounced minute. No, well, minute. Uh, cylindrical. Cylindrical. Or organelle. Organelle. <laughs> you sound French. Near the the nuc Nuc nu nucleus. Okay, nucleus. And uh, and and. I Oh. A minute uh, cylindrical organelle near the nucleus in animal cells occurring in pairs and involved in the development of spindle fibers and cell division. Found only in animal cells and some lower plants. A centriole is composed of short lengths of microtubules lying parallel to one another. A centriole is a small set of microtubules arranged in a specific way. There are nine groups of microtubules. The centrioles are found in pairs and move towards the poles, opposite ends of the nucleus when it is time for cell division. A centriole is composed of short lengths of microtubules or arranged in the form <laughs> of an open end cylinder about 500 nanometers long and 200 nanometers in diameter. The microtubules forming the wall of the cylinder are grouped into nine sets of bundles of three microtubules each. A single centriole is also to be found at a basal, basal? basal end of clea, cilia, cilia and flagella. In this context, it is called a basal, basal, body. basal body and is connected with the growth and operation of the microtubules in a cilium or flagellum. In animal Gallum. cells, centrioles are located in and form part of the centrosome where they are paired structures lying at right angles to one another. In this context, they're possibly involved in spindle assembly during mitosis. The centrosome is positioned in the cytoplasm outside the nucleus, but often near it. Um, cells entering mitosis have a centrosome containing two pairs of centrioles, associated um, per pericentriolar material, during prophase, the centrosome divides into two parts and centriole pairs migrate to each end or pole on the outside of the nuclear membrane or envelope. At this point, microtubules are produced at the end of the outer edge of the pericentriole material and grow out in a radial form. The centriole pair and um, the P PCM is called an aster. Microtubules from the aster at one pole grow towards the aster at the opposite pole. These microtubules are called spindle fibers. Some of these will become attached by centromeres to chromosomes lined up um, on the equator of the dividing cell. Others, through, though not attached to chromatids, chromosomes by centromeres, will assist in pushing apart two parts of the dividing cell. Here, go ahead. Two pair. Oh wait. In phase G one. In phase G one, the two central cylinders move very slightly apart from one another. During S phase, new cylinders of uh, microtubules form near and at right angles to the two mother cylinders. Phase new cylinders of uh, microtubules. Wait. The two pairs of centrioles keep very close to one another until the prophase stage of mitosis. mitosis at 
this point, they separate with both pairs of centrioles moving over the outer surface of the nuclear en envelope to opposite ends or poles of the cell to form the astral poles of the dividing cell. A single centriel of basal body. Or the basal body. Or the basal body. Is at the base of each cilium or flagellum. Um, and this structure associated pericentriolar material together um, construct microtubules in a linear direction. The microtubules form most of the inside of cilia and flagella and are largely responsible using protein motors for the mechanical aspects of the movement of cilia and flagella. So we have some diagrams showing these how the centrioles work. Um, these are distal ends, proximal ends, interconnecting fibers, microtubule triplets, um, mother centriole, daughter centriole. So these help with um, the movement of the the um, um, this the this with whatever's inside the cell. So chromosomes and and just organelles whatever needs to be moved during cell division so triplet microtubules connecting fibrils this is showing cross section um triplet microtubule tubes radial fiber etc so that's how the centriole looks on the sides um that's more pictures, central bridge, central singlet. Bas that's the basal body, which is in um, cilia and flagella, which helps, helps cell movement. Um, more cool pictures. So the centrosomes are at the ends of, uh, are around the nucleus, and they're, they help during cell division, pulling apart of um, chromosomes and chromatids, etc. Um, more pictures. So here you have chromosomes. When you have cell dividing into two parts, you have the chromosomes lining up the double chromatids and um, the, the centrosome, which is part of the spindle, so the centrosome is made out of centrioles, and the um, these filaments pull apart the chromosomes. So then, the the during cell division, the two cell one cell becomes two cells, and the quantity of the chromosomes is halved. So you, that's just that. Um, we will talk a little more about this later, more specifics. Oh, and then there's one more note I have here. Mesenchymal stem cells, they're multipotent stromal cells um, that differentiate in two variety of cell types. So they're, they're kind of uh, a cell, stem cell, like a default type of cell, which differentiates into many different types of cells. Osteoblasts, which are bone cells, chondrocytes, cartilage cells, myocytes, which are muscle cells, and uh, adipocytes, which are fat cells, which, which give rise to marrow adipose tissue. So mesenchymal cells, stem cells, are multipotent. They're adult stem cells present in multiple tissues, in, including umbilical cord, bone marrow, fat tissue. They can self-renew by dividing, can differentiate into the multiple tissues, um, and then... Um, Connective tissue, muscle, cartilage, fat. So, um, so they're multipotent. They're heterogeneous population of plastic adherent fibroblast like cells. Reference. Um, so you can look up stem cells. These are the different kinds of st cells they differentiate into. So, um, Showing how the different cells look like, lymphocyte, um, dendritic, neural, etc. All kinds. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.